You asked me for my, and I explained to you that you shouldn't discriminate against people for not wearing a face mask. Member of the public, stay out of it. None of your business, mate. You guys are discriminating against me, kicking me out for not wearing the face mask. I have a legal exemption, and Nick, you should be ashamed of yourself for your disgusting customer service. Breach of the peace. Who the hell are you, sir? Hey, Starbucks, why are you discriminating against people who have exemptions? Why make a big scene, Nick? Why do it? What's your problem, guys? Hey, you, member of the public, come and argue with me if you want. Have you got the balls to come and argue with me? Oh, shaming me because I'm an idiot. All right. Anyway, I guess that's the end of the Starbucks consumption. <laughs> Starbucks selective choosing of which people with exemptions and no face masks you serve. That is disgusting. <laughs> Just to give you the rundown on the Starbucks at the corner of Market Street and Piccadilly Gardens. So I went in for a, a pre anti lockdown filter coffee. It's big, it's strong. And I know it's Starbucks, you shouldn't support them, but from now on I promise you I won't, for a very good reason. So I was in the store, and the lady in front of me, she was not wearing the face nappy. And Nick, the staffer from Starbucks, goes to her, excuse me, where's your face mask? And she goes, um, I have an exemption, but you shouldn't be uh, putting me on the spot. So I sided with her, I said, yeah, look, it's in the legislation, you shouldn't be making exempt people feel bad about not wearing the, the covering. And then Nick, the staffer... Hey, Nick, how are you? Nick, the staffer, he goes, right, in that case, go get a coffee from a different shop. I'm, I'm kicking you out, please leave. And I said, what, for questioning about the, the face nappy? Charlie! No, how about you just leave me alone? I'm not blocking anything. You get back in your shop and leave me alone. You don't need to be racially abusive. You might just leave, please. Did you just say what? Why don't you be abusive? He said racially abusive. He actually said that. He actually said that. How was I racially abusive? Oh my god. So there you are. You've come up to me, Charlie. Charlie, I think I'm on uh I think I'm on a public property. Oh, you blocked my exit. You might just come by the site, please. You're blocking my YouTube channel, mate. Charlie, there is more business. chance of me putting a face nappy on than there is of obeying you. So everyone, Starbucks here, the manager, Charlie, maybe not the friendliest individual, Think of the bad PR he's caused for himself now by discriminating against a customer. He's going to the police. He's going to the police because there's a man talking outside his store. He's gone to the law. He's gone to the law. Hello. He's gone to the law. I'll even come over. Let's, let's, let's continue the drama. Feel free to film. Hello, Charlie. They pressed the panic button because I was speaking. I, I, I threatened the customer, Charlie. Why lie to the police? No problem. Thank you. I'm chatting to the police officers after Charlie, the manager. So just for audio, I'm going to record my face. Charlie, you're your rights to live stream. You're your rights to demonstrate. You're your rights to do whatever you want. Obviously, if you are using bad language, I've no evidence that you are, just moderate. I know, there's been an allegation I've used bad language, but I promise you, I've, in 10 years of YouTubing, I okay. never swear that's fine. That's fine. at people. I, I, I swear in on video, it's but a free I never... country, you can do what you want, just yeah. obviously be mindful. If you go in yeah. there and swear at people, um, 
can get a corroborated allegation, we'll have to speak to you. No, of course, you, of you course, but I'll tell you the good news. Straight. The good news is everything that happened in there yeah, will yeah, be on my channel sure tonight. I know, sure I know. But I know you guys have to take him seriously. Yeah. But he was hilarious. I said, you're discriminating against me for not wearing the face mask. And he goes, why are you giving me racial abuse? I'm like, yeah, okay. All I'd say, and I'm sure you do, a bit of common Sorry, sense. Sorry, that's enough now.